What's going on? Tech Down to get you. playing some more Mono Green Tron. We got the die roll. Let's see the opening hand. Two towers, an expedition map, no other Tron land. That's going to be an easy mulligan. But we do need to find Tron. Come on, two different Tron lands. Nope. Go to four. Do we go to three or can we potentially get there from here? Power plant, sanctum. We do have the chromatics. Will we toss? Probably. Um. Nope, we'll go over to three. A little bit of regret, but going to three, but we didn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the best we're going to be able to do here. If the fact we did we went to three doesn't clue them into it or Tron, then that might bluff them for a second. Steam vents, oh, not the colors we want to see. Ravagan, Ragavan, Raga, Raga, Raga. Nope. Okay, interesting. That's actually pretty interesting. So we'll ancient stirrings here. Take that tower. Play the tower. So unless they counterspell, we've got ourselves two of three Tron lands. Okay. And now we are vastly in need of that warping whale we just put on the bottom. Oof, and there's the grief. That's unfortunate. All right, our best top decks are Relic and Warping Whale, and we kind of need them this turn. Well, there's at least a possibility. I hate to do it, but we got to do it. And unfortunately means they know about it, but they've already used one grief, so we'll see if they have another. They could also have a force in hand, which would allow them to go off. They do have the grief. It doesn't do much, but it keeps them from having a target. Yeah, yeah. yeah had, they, had they not had two griefs, griefs, we might have been able to do something. Okay, now that's a little interesting. A little bit of hope here in that they're on two mana. Oh, they had the force. But they had to ditch the Shardless Agent, so... We're not dead yet. I'm a little afraid of the third land.
Okay, so we are down to needing a relic or warping whale top deck again. Relic or warping whale? Mm, Kozilek. Nope, that's not going to do it. Uh, that's going to be a lot of creatures coming out. Unless they had to toss a uh, slight chance they had to toss it away. We'll see. They did. Okay, so this is just a big nothing burger for the time being. We get a Tron land. No, oh, no, they're just going to do it on their turn. I know what they have. Violent Outburst. Yep, they have it. Nope, they just had everything they needed to counter us when they needed to counter it. Our best bet would have been if they hadn't been able to counter the Karn, because we could have gotten Ensnaring Bridge out, and then that board state wouldn't be quite as um, lethal as it is going to be next turn. I do shuffle my deck. Yeah, they have lethal. We'll just go ahead and concede here. 277s, seven yeah. So we have a decent number of answers in the board. I'm actually going to bring in the extra chalice here. I have it for the wish board, uh, but Trinisphere kind of does the same job. Yeah, we'll cut. Kozilek. Shuffling my graveyard, not really what I want to be doing here. But a chalice on zero will be fairly effective. No, it won't. Hold on. Yes, it will. Yes. I don't know what I was thinking. And there's our keep. With multiple cards that um, say uh, shut them down, I'm actually going to let them play into it a little bit. They'd need three griefs to be able to completely stop us here. Likely they're going to take the Relic. Play if we happen to get Tron here. Mm 
Slowtron, but we're going to be able to hold up Warping Whale, and then we'll start eating their lands. They won't be able to stop us from getting Tron this turn, either. They would have had to, uh, if they have the... Uh, Force that destroys artifacts. Play the tower. Go ahead and pass turn. All right, they're going to evoke this, which will get rid of the chalice. So they did have the answer for the chalice. Could go after their lands this turn, but I'd rather go ahead and put out a worm coil engine. Tokens, which will be relevant. No fourth land, which is what I was hoping to see. Run out the Karn. I'd love to swing for six, but I'd rather exile another card next turn. Let's see what we can get before doing anything. Crack for green. That's pretty good. All right, that's a strong position. I can't really do 
much. They'll, eh, if I give them the opportunity, they'll swing at the Karn, and I kind of want to start gaining life and doing some damage. So I'll go ahead and swing this turn. They won't block. I'll go to 26. They'll go to 11. They'll swing at the car and take it down to 1. And I'll start going after their hand. I'll have a second one coil next turn. Take a card from their hand. Run out the Oblivion Stone. And we'll take the opportunity to get another bit of damage in. Ah! Okay, that's an interesting choice. I'll let them get that off. And we'll run out of Worm Coil Engine. That way we'll have two tokens and one more Crawl Engine, even if they do go off. Which it looks like they might. Second Charlotte Sheet, or last card Charlotte's Agent. see what they'll get back. They'll look at my top cards. Which is better, to go to combat first? Uh, yeah, I think combat first is going to be the prudent move. Because if they have it, it doesn't matter if I go for the land or this. Um. Yeah, I guess this will be the most effective. Out of abilities go on the stack.
Depends on what they attack with. Did I see it? All right, so that will get me there. So no cards in hand. Four is still my best bet. I only need to remove one of their creatures, and this removes two others. And there we swing with four. All right, go to game three. A little bit more math there than I was expecting. I think we're going to up the relics this game too. Yeah, world breaker. He destroys a land so he's not the worst and he is turn 3. That Nulamog as well. Just cuz if I get Khan, I'm not going to really want well, relic isn't bad. I guess I'd probably eh, Trinisphere would be my go-to though. It's still a shutdown. No, uh, I guess Relic if I think they're holding it. Eh, well, too late. Relic if they're holding up Artifact Destruction might be better. So I probably should have left one on the sideboard. I'd keep this if it, even if it didn't have Charm for those two cards, but I can't keep a No-Lander. Chels is eh, about the same issue. On uh, one land, it doesn't really do me anything. Uh, that's going to be my best keep right there. We're going to keep the Ancient Stirrings and... Yep. Just hope we find the color source. the expedition map. We'll, we'll set up a turn three Tron. Turn four Tron. Well, hmm. I 
I guess so I'm weak to the same thing no matter which direction I go. If I try and play the Relic, then I won't be able to crack map if they don't have it and they can still force. If I try and hold out for the Warp. So we'll go like we're doing Tron and just hopefully the Warping Wheel can get us there. I guess if they have Grief instead of, but I have a feeling if they had Grief they would have used it already. So we're debating between Force of Negation and Grief. They probably run more Griefs, so I probably would have done better to go for the Relic. But this way, if they don't have it, I still have turn 3 Tron. No, I don't. Because they can do it at instant speed, so I still need to hold up the warping wheel. Well, alright, doesn't matter, they do have it. Ooh, there's a lot of forces in there, that's good to see. Do they have the force? They have the force of debating what, what to pitch. Oh, they have the subtlety. I, f ah, I forgot about him. That is unfortunate. No, wait, doesn't matter. Choose up to one target creature spell or planeswalker spell. Ah, okay, so they're targeting their shardless agent to give them another shot. I see. Unfortunately, with the way this breaks down, we do play the relic and then crack it. No, oh, no. Okay, that's, yeah, that's not good. They had both the force and the dodge for that, so, hmm. Yep, here's the second Shardless Agent. They, may ju they might just target the... Yep. They're going to look at my top three cards. They might put their own Shardless Agent back on top. We'll see. They have a good bit of flying, but Worm Coil may buy us some time. Uh, 
Yeah, that does nothing for us here. Let's go get the blast zone. This is, next turn is going to be where it gets tricky. I'm preventing more damage by not attacking. But they have 7 in the air, so my Blast Zone strat will not work on its own. Oh, oh, too many non-relevant cards. Um, Karn wouldn't have saved us. We would have needed a Karn Great Creator to do anything. The last zone, I'm not going to be able to pump up high enough. I can swing now, gain six. But they'll just swing all out. Yeah, no, that's going to be game. It was a good attempt, but we needed top decks and we did not find them. Alright, well, that's going to be game. Thank you for watching. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.